Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to yet another Let's Look At. Today we are looking at Guns and Robots, a game by Masthead Studios. I think that's Mast as in like the part of the ship, I think. Anyway, it's a third person online shooter. It's in beta at present and this is the version I'm currently playing. Also, I'm obviously playing this at Christmas. So if you're watching this long after the fact, it doesn't always look like this, there isn't always snowmen, etc. This is just purely for a Christmas event they've got running at the time I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, they do seasonal events, there was a Halloween one prior to this that I didn't see, but I saw it in the previous news. Anyway, so they describe it as a third person shooter, I describe it as a cross between Robot Wars and Mech Warrior. Now I assume everyone will know what Mech Warrior is, but if you're not from the UK you might not know what Robot Wars is. I'm guessing that the US will have had some version of it, but it may not have been called the same thing. It's where like families got together and built their own robots, and then they'd pit it to the in battles of the death against other families' robots, and then they'd go up against studio-built robots, etc. So I assume you've got some version of that program. <clears throat> also, excuse me, I have a Christmas cold. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, so I have two robots here out of three slots I have, um, and because the game is free to play, I don't think I mentioned that, so I probably should cover all this now. It's free to play, it uses a microtransaction system, there is stuff available for free, you can also rent things to try before you buy. I'll go into a bit more detail about what things will cost you towards the end of this look at. Uh, but yeah, I was given quite a lot of credits to kind of play around with, though I haven't spent many other than for stuff that just makes my robot look unique, like the scream mask here, because I wanted to give an accurate representation of how strong you are when you start rather than buying all the best gear, although maybe I should have done that as well to test. I might do that at the end, depending on how much time we have here. Uh, yeah, but the game is also trying to get on green light, so there will be a link in the description below. And if you like what you're about to see and think it has a place on Steam, by all means go and vote for it. So yeah, as I was about to say, I have three slots for robots, I can purchase more. I have the one that the tutorial builds for you, and you kind of you upgrade it a little bit, you take it on a test run. And then there's this one I've built myself out of some parts I've bought. I don't think it's actually as good, because I kind of just put a hodgepodge of ingredients together. You can... Um, where are we? Where does the garage bit go? Assemble the robot. Can we go through here? Or am I already in the garage? That's the one. You can put together different weapons. Oop, that thing followed me through. You can put together we different weapons here. You can put together different chassis, uh, guns, motors, etc. etc. You can. There's a high level of customization of each part of the robot that all affects their performance in battle. Now if we go back out again, I think I can do a quick test just to give you an idea of how the game plays before I throw myself in against real people here. There's no single player at present other than the tutorial and this training mode that I'm in here. This is how the game moves and I have... I think it's a blunderbuss on my left. Oh no, that's a pistol. Okay, I've got two different types of pistol connected to this and I can see what kind of damage they do. They both do 11 damage. Firing constantly uses my energy bar if you look in the top left there. Also you might hear an ice cream fan in the background, apologies if you do. I just realised the reason my durability wasn't maxed out is because I've already played one match online with this guy, so he needs to be repaired, which does cost in-game gold. Then we've got a firing line here, so I can just practice my shooting, see how much damage you do, etc. So I'm doing 11 damage with each hit. Is that good for a level, for a rank 1 tier robot? I think it is. I don't know, really. There's a there's not a jump, um, there's not a boost either, but I think you can maybe get that if you upgrade the right parts. But this is how the game looks, and as I was saying, there's no single player other than the tutorial at present, so therefore the only mode it kind of throws you into is with other players, so that's what's been a problem with me finding time to record this. How do I go back up? Do I just... ah. Uh, because I'm usually uploading, my ping was ridiculous. Anyway, we'll, we will press battle, and we'll jump into a game to have a little look. You, oh wait, no, no we won't. We'll repair my robot, thank you for warning me. Uh, auto repair? No, I don't want to auto repair. How do I just tell it to repair everything? Repair, 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 repair? Just auto repair I guess. Saying it'll cost me nothing, that seems weird. Well it's all repaired now right? Mm. Oh I guess so. So while you're waiting to get into a battle you get to play this little mini game down here and we'll see who's joining up there. People in a clan? I did not expect to run into clanners. So other than the tutorial stuff I have played uh, one more game type which was, you're in a kind of overgrown or oversized house compared to the robots, you have to steal the opponent's, it was basically capture the flag but done in robot style. You, you might see that, I'm not sure if that's the only mode available or if there's more, we'll soon find out, I need to reload. This is a nice way to pass the time when you're trying to reload our game. Also why am I the only one in the lobby now, did everyone else leave? Yes, everyone else left. Fine. I'm not sure how many people are playing this at present. I wonder if there's a way to check. 
run out of ammo again. By the way, the Christmas event is shooting lots of presents that you see around the battlefield and collecting them, although you need a ridiculous amount. How many people we've got? We've got four people on this team, two people on this team. Oh, we're in. All right. I'm on Team Outlaws, and we're against the Regulators. Capture the batteries. This is the one. So we have to steal batteries. It's Oh, it's on a Western theme stage. Not done this one. I like the, the house one. So there's lots of hidden bits on the stages. Steal two batteries from enemy camp and bring them back to your base. Don't forget to protect your own batteries. There's our battery there. And there's my teammate. Alright, I've never done this stage, so forgive me if I don't know where I'm going. I, um, I'm going to hope he knows, so I'm going to kind of follow him. Oh, wow, he's getting sniped. Oh, there they are, there. I don't think my weapons have that kind of range, unfortunately, but theirs do. Save me, Jeebus. So... I like the visual style of the game for sure, and I like the detail on the robots, although you can't really make them look badass if that makes sense, you can just make them look fun. And that may put some people off, I don't know. I mean, if I was hoping for a mech warrior type game, I would certainly want my mech, as it were, to look badass, rather than I've mutilated a hoover, which is kind of what this guy looks like. I can't tell if I'm damaging you really, I don't seem to be, and I'm running out of energy here. Where is their base? I'm going to go look for their base instead. Oh, what is this? He picked up a huge resupply rack. Right. Still don't know where their battery is, though. There's an alien up there for some reason. Can I go upstairs? I can. I have no Dalek. Uh, where the hell am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Oh, that's... Well, I don't know if that was my teammate. I can't remember the name of the guy on my team. Oh, there's one of those Christmas presents. Let's just assume their battery is up here somewhere. Oh, that is their battery. Take their battery. And then run like the wind. Run like the wind. This is as fast as I can go. If I fall off here, am I going to die? Oh, I hope not. Right. I still don't know entirely where I'm going. Oi. Oh, well, they've got my battery as well, so that's fun. What's this? Oh, speed boost, perfect. Now if I could only find a way to get back. Oh, you can't even jump over that little bump. Now, my teammate died, I guess, so is he just dead? Is that it? That's a bit weird. That there's no respawn mechanic, or maybe I need to go to him. You know, either way, I captured their battery. Yeah, my teammate seems to just be dead. Wow, wow, he's walking around like a chicken. Well, it's two against one, so I don't rate my chances, but I shall certainly try. Can't tell which one is more wounded. I'm not entirely sure what's their health and what's their energy. <laughs> Well, I'll concentrate on the one that stole the battery, I guess. Oh, by the way, there is area um, damage-specific areas. Oh, I've got no energy to fire. So if you shoot someone in the head, apparently enough, their, um, their controls reverse. If you hit them in the arms, they struggle to aim, I think, or they lose more energy. And if you hit them in the tracks, they go slower, I think. So there is a bit of strategy involved, although that seemed a bit weird that once you're dead, you're dead. Why didn't my teammate try and go for the battery, if that's the case? Hmm, either way. We'll try another match here, and see if there's a different game type, or at the very least a different map. Because I do want to check. Um, battle at high noon, my robot was defeated, my experience was 77, my credits were 174, and then I auto-repaired 8 credits. What is this? System messages. Alright, so if you turn on auto-repair, it automatically repairs, obviously. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I'll do one more battle. And then I'll show off the store and how you can purchase the in-game credits. What is this? Three teams? And a robot rank. I, I think my robot rank is just one, right? Yeah. I've not done very much. Oh, what the? Oh, I went straight in. Are these the same guys? I'm pretty sure that X Machina was on the same, was on the enemy team the last time. So once again, it's captured the batteries. It looks like it's some kind of medieval stage this time. Again, it's not a stage I've done. I thought they were all like realistic stages. I'm quite impressed that they're not. They're themed. Right, let's see if this guy knows what he's doing. He's using two like real guns or something. 
And I like your face, it's like a monitor or something. Right, come on, show me what to do, Ex Machina. Are we on defence? Are we on attack? Are we breaching the castle or what? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm enjoying it though. Oh wow, there's a dragon. I definitely enjoy the the flavour to the stages. I guess that's the only way I can describe it. Describe it. Where is the enemy team? Oh, there's my teammate. Right, okay, you go. You take the high ground. If you run into any Jedi, you'll kill them. I hear f gunfire. Guns and robots. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, this is yes, yes, yes. Yoink! I walked right in the front door and stole, <laughs> stole from you. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing to nobody. Actually, it does sound like I'm being shot, at, but I think I'm out of their range. Oh, I'll come and save you. Maybe. Wow, someone is firing like a Gatling gun or something. Guns and robots. That was that a grenade that bounced past me there. No, Ex Machina, you fell for his strafing maneuver. Oh, I went past where I'm supposed to drop it off as well. <laughs> Those both spin around each other and fire a lot. I think I'm about to run out of energy though. Let's try and. Is your guy almost dead? No, they both look like they're in good shape. If you could keep them both busy though, I could go steal the battery and we'd win. Dodging around you! Dodging around! Did you just fall to your death? Well, okay, whatever. If only I could go faster, but I'm using the most basic batteries. This really is like the kind of robot you would have saw in Robot Wars. Seen? Saw? Whatever. I've got no time to correct my own grammar when I'm trying to play. But you seem to have quite low health. In fact, you seem to have a lot lower health than me, so I think I can take you. You're firing a hell of a lot more than me, but that doesn't mean you're doing more damage. Yeah! I just erased... erased. And now I'm hopefully going to go score the winning... I was going to say basket there, but that makes absolutely no sense. The winning battery. That's what it is. Team whatever I am wins. Yeah! I actually won a match! Yay for screen face! My teammate was doing stuff there, by the way. I, I don't think he was doing nothing. He was definitely keeping them busy and he seemed to be doing more damage than me as well. Right, so that's one loss and one victory on camera. I'm kind of happy about that. And uh, now let's have a little look at some other stuff then, since I've showed you what the matches are like. That does seem to be the only game mode at present, but keep in mind this is a beta. And also your robot level is up there in the top corner, so I'm not even partially... I'm not even halfway towards robot rank 2, although hang on, what is this? Indicates for the player's experience in playing guns and robots, but not the robot strength. Ah, right. So yeah, let's have a little look at the, the shop here. Now I did already, off camera, look into how much real money you can buy with fake money for. So yeah, the game uses a gold system, like for example, whatever the hell that is, a rocket launcher costs 162,000 rounding it up by one gold. And I got given about half a million when I started playing this, um, the press build. So I looked into it, you can get 10,000 in-game gold for 89 cents. Um, and then it goes all the way up, there's obviously different tiers etc, but the highest tier is 1.7 million gold or credits or in-game money for $100. So I assume there's some kind of saving there, but I don't know, I didn't look into it that much. You do also have a finite number of inventory spaces, so you have to be a bit careful. I was buying stuff willy-nilly because there's a bunch of free stuff as well. I actually almost used up every single slot I have, I think, so it's going to be a bit hard to try and put together a new robot. Also, I, it's a Futurama hangover that I say robot rather than robot. Apologies. But let's see if we can make a new robot or not. I don't know if I have the bits. Um, no, I didn't think I did. I've got some miscellaneous stuff, but no. I have a body in use. Uh, a chassis. I've got two inventory spaces. Let's see if I can build a chassis then. So that's one of those, right? That's one of those. Let's buy... Ooh, they look very fancy. Let's buy that. For 88,000 credits. Sure, why not? 
There we go, I spent a lot of money there. Right, so now if we go back to my list here, right? This should have a new one. Why doesn't it appear in there? Uh, what list does it appear in? Or maybe it needs a battery first, I need to put, to put it together. That would be a thing that makes sense to me. Let's go into the garage. Oh, I actually had a lot more than I needed. There's those ones I just bought, right? So there we go. And yeah, they require a battery to be put together. Knob edge, roach box, or roach box. Doesn't modify stats, doesn't modify stats. So either way, there we go. That's now motorized, so then I can do save module. And now I have a chassis. So now if I go back... Yeah, I do. I have a chassis. I have... Do I have an upper body prepared yet? Medium body. I could give it a medium body. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a medium body. And let's give it a face. Uh, snake eyes. Mm, robot with no name. Scarface. Scarface. Nom nom nom. And we'll make Scarface a cowboy. Because reasons. Do I have any spare guns? I do not. So let me buy a couple of guns then. Let me buy a... What the hell is that? Necrotron 3000. Yeah? Okay. Did that work? Buy, please. Oh, you can also rent. Do you want to buy this? Sure. Um, I think I need to buy one of these. Oh, let me just check if I can. Sometimes you have to mount weapons first so that they are equipable. It looks like I do need that, yeah. So it needs an energy, 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 energy. I need something to mount an energy weapon is what that was telling me there. So that's for free weapons, light mechanisms, small firing mechanisms, no flintlock. Where's the thing for mounting energy weapons? Hmm. I know what I need to do, I'm just not sure where the thing is to do it. And oh, there's also cosmetic colour stuff. No, flame turret. Interesting. And then there's customizable faces as well. Hmm. I already have a bunch of them, so can I get you rid of some of this stuff? I think so. Let me just get one of these. Oh, I can't. Because the inventory is... Right, sell that. Sell something that was free and then buy something that is free. And then go back into the... No, that's achievements. Yeah, uh, garage? Oh, I'm already in the garage. Right, so I can mount the gun and then I would mount the slingshot. I don't want to do that though. How do I remove it? That button? Yep. It's an energy weapon, so I need something to mount an energy weapon. Blooming hell, that's massive. Right, let's see if we can work this out. Because I do want to try like some big nasty weapon before I finish here. Light weapon, light weapon, light weapon. Heavy weapon. Heavy mechanism enhances missile speed and impact. Because that's not so good if it doesn't tell you what you need to mount the weapon before you mount it. Unless you have to earn them somehow? Hmm. Oh, there's more pages. That's what it'll be. I was being slightly silly. Uh, light weapon. And I don't need the weapons. I need the thing that mounts the weapons. Light mechanism for semi-automatic fire. Light, medium mechanism for assault firing. There's one built for energy. Oh, well, that's. Hmm. Medium weapon, high provision, medium mechanism. Let's try and buy that. Do I have enough room? Oh, I need to get rid of something else. Um. Everything is in use in this menu. Let me get rid of one of those scar faces, because I had two of them, right? Yeah. Get rid of that as well. Right, so now I should be able to buy that. Did that work? Yes? Yes. Right, let's see if that is what I wanted or not. Uh, that's not for this type of weapon. This is incompatible with this base. Well, nuts to that then. So I know I need the base, I just don't know which one. Which one did I just buy? I just bought the one that was for medium mechanism for fully automatic. Energy consumption, that's the one. It's a good job they gave me so much money. Uh, remove that. 
that one. Nope, apparently that isn't the one I need either. I guess maybe because it's heavy or something. Uh, that's annoying. And unfortunate. So I can put together a basic weapon, but I've already done tons of these. That's just a basic uh, revolver. So there, that's me made that. Um, medium mechanism. So I need like a high one. Light mechanism, medium, medium. Fire canisters, blah, blah, blah. Oops, don't want to rent. Is there just like a machine gun or something I can use? Hmm. That's a heavy weapon mechanism. Do I still have enough money for this? Yes, I do. Oh, inventory space! Inventory management! Right. Hopefully now. Yes! Yes! I made a rocket launcher arm! My god, that took way too long. Still. Uh, why isn't it in that list, though? Oh, probably because he is a... medium body and he can't take that, if I had to guess. So really what I did over there was pointless because this chassis cannot hold that type, I think. And I probably don't have enough money now to build another one, so that's a shame. Hmm, that is a shame. We're not going to be able to give old cowboy Scarface here a ride. Mm, either way, I think I've shown enough of the game in terms of how it plays at present, keeping in mind that everything you have seen today is a beta. And it will be free to play, and they are trying to get on Steam, so if you want to see them get on Steam, feel free to click the link in the description box below in order to do that. Uh, oh yeah, you need to buy ammunition as well, I forgot to mention that. So yes, this was Guns and Robots by Masthead Studios. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Stay tuned for more content, more Let's Look At's, and more of my other ongoing series. Ta-ta for now, everyone.